Yellow. Last time you saw me, I was busting a move and busting up a concrete slab. Moving a bunch of concrete stones as well as the concrete stepping slabs. Digging a hole and finally a little sneaky peek of placing what will be keeping up the porch stable in its place. Now it's time to get rid of as much and as many of the smaller pieces of the concrete slab that I didn't take away. Some of which I placed in these holes to act as almost like a reservoir of sorts and apparently place some hide and seek. Where's my Sarah? Putting Sorry. rocks into holes. She's escaped. I want to escape him right here. You're so, so here's the question. I feel like I'm a small child trying to put shapes into those things like this. Put the triangle in the triangle. It's working. We can put some of the bigger rocks around where the dirt is over there. Whatever it took to get this area level so nothing came above the height of the concrete. Perimeter. And then I simply filled that in with a mixture of more limestone and cement. If you didn't catch it with the last video, basically if you have limestone, mix it with water, eventually it'll almost turn it into something as hard as cement, which is exactly what we are looking for. There was a small area that was perfect road in size, so I filled that with some steel wool. I'm supposed to push it. Just stuff it all in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Listen, Dad. <laughs> I don't think that's a dad joke. Oh, it's very much a dad joke. And then spackled over top, apparently making a cake. <laughs> Fill her up. And hopefully we don't find It's like anymore. she's making a fucking cake over there. <laughs> yeah, you're not icing. Yeah. She is. She's icing. I am. Ice. I'm baking. <laughs> Let that dry for 24 hours. No wood bug, get thick. the fuck out. Be perfectly even. No, of course yeah. not. Okay, because I'm like, this is really yeah. difficult because steel wool keeps moving. Won't be under the deck, so just needs to be plugged right up You're against. You're giving it. me so much content right now. Yeah, that's good. Placing that limestone over top of the rocks that I previously set down, essentially just to make it so any water that comes down from the house will go further and further down like a slope, and nothing will get caught, and there will be no water damage to the house. Okay, wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Just Up you go. Up you. Into the window. There you go. If you haven't noticed by now, we're doing our best to level things out so it is on a gradual slope, but it's still leveled out, kinda like I don't know, like a Zen garden of sorts <laughs> and then filling in any holes with either the steel wool and spackle mixture or with concrete if it's a little bit bigger of a hole. Then filling the hole. That's what she said. First we placed the limestone into it and then we wanted to make sure each layer is as even as possible. Pour water over top of that and tamp it out. Once again... This is called tamping. Basically making it so after time, even years down the road, it's going to act as a cement to keep everything as sturdy as possible. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Approximately 4,700 times. <laughs> oh, 
Sometimes it's easier to drill a couple of things in here to have to use these handles. Oh, okay. But it's better, and this is taller. Yeah. Because then it's heavier. And the idea is you have to tamp it down. And what will happen is over the course of the first year, uh -huh. this will turn pretty much to concrete. Damn. Because there's limestone in there. Oh, and sometimes we do a little jig on it. Damn, these spot the difference games are getting harder and harder. <laughs> Finally, it was wood time. That sounded weird. This, my friends, is what 630 bucks worth of wood looks like in today's world. Don't buy lumber right now. Tune in next week to see what the final product looks like, the last installment of this mini-series. See you guys then!